Today on Alaskan Ballistics, Springfield M1A, Spear Gold Dot 150 grain, 308 Winchester. Let's see what it does. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. I hope you are doing well today. Don't forget to stop by our MeWe and our arms directory to get all of our affiliate links. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like the video, or you can give us a thumbs down too, whatever you want to do. Thank you very much for watching. Today, we've got the 150 grain spear gold dot, and we're shooting it kind of close where we've got our new shooting area. is isn't really long range for rifles. So we're seeing if this is going to be a good, you know, kind of, uh, what would you call it, home protection 308 round, if you've got a shorter AR-10 or something like that. But we're shooting it out of a Springfield M1A loaded this is my cameraman's, so everybody say thank you, Jason, for coming out and helping Chuck, because he needs a lot of help. That's what we got here. They don't really tell you the on the box what the foot-pounds of energy or the feet per second is. We're going to shoot this over the chronograph, and then we're going to shoot it into some plywood, some things of baloney, and some water jugs to catch it, kind of do a redneck science test, see how far it goes. Would this be a great home defense round? Or would this be better hunting round at close range? But hopefully in the spring when everything thaws out, we can actually get in there and do some long range with this load. Spear Gold Dot, 150 grain, M1A. Here we go, 308 Winchester. Iconic American cartridge. 27.99. And we had a fail to feed. And go in. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's being in here. Sometimes that affects it. Here we go. There we go. Twenty-seven eighty-nine. Twenty-seven sixty-five. Twenty-seven sixty. 2766. So yeah, it was probably being affected and squeezed by this right here. Sometimes that squeezes all the sheet metal that's underneath here stuff. Uh, you gotta be really light when you put it in these tripods. That might have been the cause of the jam. Might not have been. We don't know. But it, when I pulled it out, it worked better. So in the high 2700s for a 150 grain bullet, not too shabby. About what you expect for 308 in this barrel length. So let's uh, shoot it at something and see if it's gonna be expanding for home defense. The, the clamp on the, the tripod was squeezing on the op rod. Oh, is that what it doing. was? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, of course, my cameraman can tell me. Uh, so it shows you what kind of expert guns I am. You know what they say, an expert is someone who comes from far away to tell you something you don't know anything more of than you already know, right? Here is our add-up slide. Pretty good numbers, except for the standard deviation. That's about what you get for factory ammo. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the speeds. I think it's just about right for the rifle we were shooting with the huge muzzle break and about a 20-inch barrel before the muzzle break or so. So let me know what you think. All right, here we go. 308, 150 grain spear gold dot. Is it a good home defense load? Hopefully later we can do a hunting version with this, but here we go. Well, looks like we hit it. Let's see what we did. You know, it's still a center, good enough hit on the water jugs. So we had eight on the table. There are now six on the table, so two of them blew off. So it is in number six. And I need to put this rifle down. My cameraman is holding both the camera and the rifle. That's what you call an Alaskan right there. Looks like it should be in the sixth. Wipe all this body armor mess away here. It's a nice mangled bullet. That's what you want to see from Spear Gold Dot right there. Can't complain about that. All right, we got this bullet here. Weighs 122.2. .2. 
for being fired that close out of a long rifle barrel. Man, you can't beat that. That's about 75, 80% weight retention right there. Can't beat that at all. Let's go measure it. And this bullet measured 0 0.781 that direction. Let's try it this way. 0 0.611 that way. 617. So you can see how much it measured right there. Thank you very much for watching. Put what you think about this load in the comments below. Tell me what you think about the ammo. I think it's pretty good ammo. It's a little deep penetrating for, you know, home defense ammo, in my opinion. It's probably going to go through the bad guy. But, again, you know, it's probably perfect for a hunting load for caribou. You know, probably up to moose if you really wanted to. And it's perfect little deer load, mule deer load. Could probably do an elk. So, I think it's a great, great load. You know, keep it close. Be a good moose and elk load. Bear. It penetrated pretty well. I mean, it could possibly do. You know, black bear would be a good load. Put what you think. You should hunt with it in the comments. You know, a little deep penetrating for home protection, especially, you know, if you're using a 308 for that. And, of course, you can use a 308 for that because it's America's round. America, yeah. Anyway, so, guys, tell me what you think. Don't forget our t-shirts below. Don't forget our MeWe page and all of our affiliate links over on Arms Directory and MeWe. And, guys, thank you very much for watching. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.